Y'all know what it is already, right? It's your boy Quest, and this is your marriage moment. <laughs> Let's go. What up, y'all? Welcome to another edition of Marriage Moments. And for those of you who are watching for the first time, it's your boy Quest. Listen, y'all, I am overjoyed um, just living in a space of gratitude this morning. Um, I saw a video uh, from my boy Inky Johnson, and he was talking about validation, right? And why we do things, right? Uh, and the motive behind why we do things. And so it, 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 it pricked it, it pricked me in a way that I had to ask this question this morning. Why are you married? I'm gonna say it one more time. Why are you married, right? Some of us got married like for all the wrong reasons. You got married because your spouse had money. Um, you got married because you wanted to be validated. You got married because you thought it was a good business transaction. You got married for all the, the, the cosmetics of a person, right? You got married because of stuff, right? And the reason that I'm asking that question this morning is because like for real, those things are only temporary. But when you fall in love with the soul of a person, right? Or you bestow your love of, uh, I was always taught that people got married, why? Because this is a person that they loved, that they wanted to bestow their love upon for a lifetime, and they wanted to enhance their lives. In other words, they wanted them that if anything should happen, if they should die, that their life should be better as a result of being in their lives, right? To enhance their lives. And I'm asking you this morning, if you stop doing the things that you're doing because you're not getting the validation, why are you married? Are you married to the reasons why you're doing those things? Or are you married because you love this particular person? Why are you married? I encourage you, I implore you, I challenge you today, right? That as you are navigating through your marriage relationship, do me a favor, do things solely because you want to enhance the life of your spouse, whether they give you validation or they don't give you validation. Now, for some of you, I can understand in the beginning stages of your relationship, you're caught in all the, you know what I'm saying, the roses and the, like for real, the, the cakewalk. You're, you're involved in that part of the relationship and that's fine. But what we're here about is about growth, right? Marriage is supposed to grow you in every way, shape or form. And one of the things that you do is you transition from that place to the place of, okay, it starts out as, as uh, what they call Eros love, right? And then it moves to phileo love. In other words, you do for me, I do for you. But at some point it should move to agape or covenant type love, if you will, where I do for you, even if you're not doing for me. Now for some of you, for real, that sounds like a foreign idea, but that is marriage. And I encourage you, I challenge you this morning to start moving to that place. Why? Because that requires a transformation. And you've heard me say it before. The best thing that you can ever give your spouse is your transformation. So do me a favor, go the extra mile for your spouse and go the extra mile whether you think they deserve it or they don't deserve it. Why? Because you are a husband and that comes under the, under the uh, job description of husband. You are a wife and that comes under the job description of wife. And be that, a husband and a wife. And when the two of you are everything that you should be as husband and wife, the relationship is explosive. And not only that, you become a light in a very dark place as it relates to marriage. Y'all know what I always say about this thing. From shaky to good, from good to great, ultimately what we want is phenomenal. But phenomenal don't just happen, it takes work. So let's do that, work. Because if you're not working on your marriage, then my friends, what are you doing? It's your boy Quest. Peace. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Quest. Listen to me. February 21st through the 23rd. Where? Miami, Florida. What is it? the Grow Marriage Conference. Let me tell you something, it's about to be phenomenal. We blew out Atlanta, we went to Chicago, and now we're coming to Miami, and it is going to be phenomenal. Listen, if you are dating and looking to be engaged, if you're engaged and looking to be married, if you're married and looking to take your marriage to the next level, then you need to be in Miami, Florida. Guess what, guys? I'm gonna say it one more time, it's free. 
February 21st through the 23rd. It's the Grow Marriage Conference, Miami, Florida. The location, we're soon to announce it, right? But if you want to be in the building, start getting your plane tickets now because I promise you, February 21st through the 23rd is going to be phenomenal, right? Where else could you get all of this good stuff? It's the Grow Marriage Conference. Don't meet me there, beat me there.